My father opened his drugstore, which parenthetically is right across the street here from the museum, uh, in 1929. Uh, in 1930, when prohibition sort of came into play, uh, he was one of the few legitimate businesses that had access to alcohol and he used to tell me the amazing number of people who had medical conditions that required alcohol in the medication. So he'd get prescriptions from various uh, uh, physicians who would be very liberal in the amount of alcohol that should be put in there and he said often he'd have lines around the block, which I'm not, I, doesn't surprise me. Uh, move up to World War II, he uh, had um, the only pharmacy in Daly City. so. The selective service system said, no, we're not going to draft you. You stay in Daly City. Your business is essential to the community. Come up to 1951 when I was born, and uh, I started working at the pharmacy when I was probably six. My first job was scraping gum off the sidewalk, which pretty much dissuaded me from pursuing a career in pharmacy. There were often times when I would be sent out on collections, and my father said, you know, collect from, and, I, and I say my father was a drug dealer in Daly City for 50 years, and I was a drug runner long before it became fashionable in the movies. But what I would do is I'd go and people would say, I don't have the money to pay, and my father would say, don't worry about it, just pay me when you can. It was a time that, that was a little simpler, and it was, uh, uh, people knew each other. Uh, there was not a lot of crime. I remember sometimes when I'd be sitting, uh, working at the store, and you'd hear this horrific rumble and you'd run outside and here was a funeral procession for the Hells Angels that were coming from the mission out to Colma to the cemeteries and it literally shook the entire building and hundreds of bikes, of bikes would be going by just kind of ah, bah, 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 bah. and uh, that was a very fond memory I had. Fortunately I didn't join the Hells Angels, I had a little Honda 50. But um, so a lot of my uh, misspent youth as I like to say was on the streets of Daly City and in the surrounding community. My dad said that he got involved with Rico Lagomarsino as one of six investors. Um, and one of the reasons they felt that they wanted their own local bank in Daly City. Uh, my father said that he felt he was cashing more checks than the local Bank of America. I mean, that's not a knock on Bank of America, it's just that people would come into businesses and cash checks. So in 1963, they applied for a charter, which was granted by the uh, federal government uh, under the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. The bank opened down on San Pedro Road initially. Then in uh, late 63, we opened up our main branch, which is now here on Mission Street. Um, the bank's concept was to serve the local credit needs of the people who lived in this community, to hire the people that lived in this community and to have investors who lived in this community. I think that were John Daly alive today, he would be extremely proud of what Daly City has accomplished. You have to remember a hundred years ago, this was a uh, just sort of emerging from an agricultural area. I mean, when you think of Westlake, uh, you think of artichoke fields and all kinds of vegetable gardens around the area. Um, the housing that we see now was not here to the extent that it is. And um, over the last hundred years, we've seen a, a huge shift away from agricultural to residential, uh, we have seen businesses come and grow here in some of the larger uh, parts of the city. Uh, Saramati was the very first mall concept in the entire United States. We were really ahead of our time there. Uh, Seton Medical Center, which located in Daly City, was and still is on the cutting edge of medical treatment. So I think if, if John Daly was around today, he'd, he'd He'd smile and he would feel very honored, I think, that the vision that he had of creating this small little town grew and met the, uh, both the demographic, the economic, the uh, workplace challenges that confronted this area. And the city responded appropriately, uh, creating housing for people creating the infrastructure to run the city and offering a variety of different types of businesses the chance to thrive in this area. If our track record from the past is any indication, we will continue to spawn leaders of, who have vision, who are connected with the community, and who see what the future of this city should be. So I'm very optimistic in that way, and again, I, I think John Daly would be a very proud man.